So just going to try and answer this question here. So let's just remind ourselves that we have 10 possible digits for each digit's place in a number, right? So for example, there are 100 possible combinations of two digit numbers, right? So if you're going to have a two digit number, um, like, you know, the number 12 or the number 27, there are 100 combinations because you've got 10 digits in, in one place and then 10 in the other. So in one place there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the other. So for example, these are all the numbers you can make. Now we include 0, 0, especially when we're talking about phones, right? Because 0, 0 could be part of a, of a phone number, right? So you got 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 and so on to 0, 9. That's 10 possible combinations. Or you could have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2 and so on all the way to 1, 9. That's 10 possible. 202122, 2, 2, 2, that's 10 possible. 8, uh, and so on and so forth. Then 808182, all the way to 89, that's 10 possible. 909192, all the way to 99, that's 10 possible. Right? So, so if we add them all up, that's 100 possible combinations, right? Of two digit numbers. Right? If you just think, look, there's 10 possible in this place and 10 possible in that place. So if we go 10 times 10, that's 100 possible combinations, right? And similarly for like, uh, you know, for a three digit number, you would have 10 times 10 times 10. Uh, so that'll be a thousand combinations. For a seven digit number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So in the first spot, there could be one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the next spot, you could have zero, one, or two, or three, or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine. Okay, so that's a hundred possible combinations just using the first two places. Right, but if you take any of those hundred and then you can add to get a three digit number, you could add a zero you put on a zero, one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, or a nine, and now you've got a thousand combinations. Agreed? So you could have zero 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 uh zero one zero um you know zero two zero zero three zero zero four zero and so on. So you, you'll find that if, if you've got, you could, you could take a hundred possible combinations for a two digit number and then onto any of those hundred add a zero on the end. Um, so that's a hundred three digit combinations for it or, or for any of those hundred add a one on the end. That's a, th that's 200 Add a two on the end. That's 300 and so on. So you've got a thousand possible combinations of three digit numbers, which would look like zero 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 or nine eight seven or one three one or whatever right now for a four digit number you've got another possibility you could have zero on the end you could have one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine so you take your thousand possible three digit numbers and add a zero on that's a thousand four digit uh, possibilities or take any of your thousand three digit possibilities add a one on the end now that's two thousand possible four digit numbers. Take any of those thousand three digit numbers, add a two in the end, that's five, that's you know three thousand and, and so on uh, until you end up with ten thousand possible combinations of four digit numbers. And then and, uh, and, and again for five digit numbers that's a hundred thousand, for six digit numbers that's a million and for seven digit numbers that's ten million. So there's ten million combinations of seven digit numbers, right? And the short way to do that is to just say we've got 10 possibilities here times 10 possibilities here times 10 possibilities here times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? And that's 10 times itself, 7, ta seven times, that's 10 to the power of 7 or 10 million. A 1 with 7 zeros after it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? Okay, so 10 million combinations. Now, in the question, it states that the first um, a small town's phone numbers all start with three three seven three five two or three six three. Okay, so the first three digits could be three three seven, and then we have the seven four five six seven possible digits after that, right? of which there are 10 million possibilities, right? 10 million, 10 power of seven. Or we could have the phone number starting with 
three, five, two, and then having seven, uh, a seven digit number after it, of which there are 10 million possibilities. Okay. Or the phone number could start with uh, 363, and then we would have seven. Uh, a seven digit number after that of which there are 10 million um, combinations. So basically we've got you know 10 million plus 10 million plus 10 million, right? So 30 million possible combinations, right? 30 million possible phone numbers. Okay. And out of those possibilities, I don't know if actual phone companies use all of them for real. I mean, I've never heard of somebody with a phone number that was something like this, 337 and then 000, 000, 000. So I don't know if uh, there is such a thing as those numbers. Um, so maybe in real life, phone companies leave out um, certain combinations. But uh, anyway, but, but, but just from a, a, if you just look at it, Without without going into that, there are thirty million possibilities if you leave um, if you leave all the possible combinations available. Yep.